officially on testosterone. This is my one month on tea video. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tide, and I am two months on tea. Well, yesterday, but yay! <laughs> I think this month has been the most dramatic with changes, or at least changes that I'm kind of finally realising. Um, my voice has like most definitely changed and it was probably the biggest thing I was scared about. Um, and going, I went back to college this week. I've been at college for three days running on basically no sleep. And this is my first day off and I'm, uh, I'm so tired. But going back to college and seeing everyone react like, oh my God, your voice is so much deeper. That honestly, it made me so happy because I was so scared that I was going to go back and everyone was going to be like you haven't really changed much so the fact that like my teachers and classmates were both like res like responding like oh my gosh that's like so cool and I even spoke to some people that I don't usually speak to before and I had like a really good chat about like LGBT issues and stuff it was really really nice and it just makes me feel like that this year is going to be so much better than last year. So changes. I don't think I've had any hair changes that I can think of. I, I, I don't think my hairline's receding yet. The the changes I want to pinpoint are my voice, um, acne. Um, I, I don't know whether to call it acne because it's not that intense. But I'm getting it like around my shoulders, on my chest here and on my back. And um, it's nothing like major, they're just like tiny little spoots, but um, that's a thing and I never really had spots in my first puberty, so I'm just like, <laughs> what? But honestly, I'm not mad about it, like if anything, that make it makes me quite excited, because I'm like, oh my god, things are happening, yay! I am so hairy, like, my stomach is getting, <laughs> it's so hairy, it's mad, and, um, my, my little pathetic tash is coming through a bit more. <clears throat> you can kind of see a little dirty tash, which is fine. Sorry my camera doesn't focus. <clears throat> I've had some muscle, um, redistribution in my arms. Because um, I'm unhealthy and I don't exercise at all and um, when I tense my arms now like there's already like more muscle definition and it's got more of like a kind of bump which is amazing and it's kind of like made me want to start working out but I feel like it's not gonna happen because I can't afford a gym membership and um, I don't have much stuff at home but I'm just gonna I'ma lift what I can. Uh, growth as well is still a thing ongoing, um, which is pretty cool. My libido has um, gone down. Um, it's like not as mad as it was, which is kind of nice. <laughs> One thing I found like over time was that my appetite was um, getting really, really low. Like I, I could eat. Well, it, it went, it went from being able to like eat my fridge to looking at my fridge and feeling full and um I'm kind of slowly eating a bit more now but I still like don't feel the need to eat as much as I did saying that I did eat like loads of chicken last night and turkey dinosaurs but that's fine <laughs> my mood has been a bit all over the place um like I'm a lot more prone to being angry like if I wake up and I'm tired I'm like I'm so grumpy <laughs> I'm so grumpy it's really funny but at the moment in time it's not I don't really get that like frequently it's more just in the mornings if I have to wake up early so everyone at college <laughs> has had to deal with like grumpy me in the morning but I kind of perk up after a few hours, maybe. Um, so my mood has, I can feel it already dropping. Like I thought I was kind of in a neutral to semi bad place anyway, but like with the start of college, I can already feel myself like getting stressed out and like 
depressed. So, and I haven't been on any medication for about... I don't think I've been on medication since starting tea. So, um, I mean, the meds that I was on um, weren't really doing the trick. So I'm thinking, like, sometime soon I'll go to my GP and see if I can get something sorted out. But I tried to put it off for as long as possible, and uh, I spoke to both like the nurse that injects tea for me and GP a while back. That um, like it's best to not be on any medication while starting tea, just to tr not confuse things or something. However, like it's not an essential, and if you do need to take medication, that's completely fine. So that's probably what I'm gonna do because. Self-care. My singing has been a bit all over the place. Um, like, I'm trying to sing, like, more to kind of try and retrain my voice. And it's quite, <clears throat> it's quite difficult. Um, but I've, I think I'll get there. In time, I'll get there. And because I'm taking, like, a music course at my college, um, I might even be able to get help from people there. So, that's great. Dysphoria. Um... Is still very much a thing um, and I feel really bad because like I'm on testosterone and I should be really really happy but like you still get those feelings of dysphoria especially with my chest like recently I've felt so bad with my chest and like I always think that my binders don't work properly and they're not doing enough and like I know that's going to be the case, like, forever. Like, I'm never going to be able to find a binder that will make me completely flat just because of how my chest is. Um, but saying that, I do have um, an appointment in February, which is for a chest assessment. And I'm going to be honest, I've never been so excited to show some random strangers my chest. <laughs> I'm not too sure on what that appointment entails all, I, all they said is that it's a chest assessment um i don't know like what will follow up from that whether there's like another few appointments or talking about surgeons and stuff um but hey ho we'll find out i'm really sorry for not uploading any videos in between these i do actually have some i just need to um edit them and post them and i just haven't had the time to do that but um over the next like few weeks I should be posting some some videos that I did like a couple months ago so that it'll be like older but it's fine <laughs> it's content I'm hopefully gonna be like recording a few more things as well um I just need to think about what to do <laughs> um I think I might do one uh based around like art because I do really enjoy doing art and I'd like to show you guys some stuff that I do. Thank you guys for watching so much. Um, it really does mean a lot to me that people want to like keep updated with how my transition's going and um, also like kind of be educated in what happens in transition or just if you fancy saying hi. Like it, it all really does mean a lot to me and it's, it's nice knowing that I'm not just uploading this to keep it tracked for me like even though that's the main reason why I'm doing it it's nice having others be interested uh so yeah if if like if these videos can help someone then you know I've done my job that's I'm I'm really happy to do that so thank you so much um for watching this it yeah again <laughs> it means a lot um I'll see you in the next video which will most likely be an old me but um yeah, I'll, I'll see you then. Um, bye!